and stuff. Then, like then they alternate. And how much is this for? Three. Uh, three to get it in the hole, and then one on the board. Oh, that's good touch, AG. Yes! Yes, there we go. Oh! See the door open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, oh, yo! Even. When you're not good at something, you don't like it. Zach was going to dunk that. KP for me, the great guy. He brings a lot of like spark to the room. Like, you know, he always like make people laugh. He always brings good energy. Thank you. Thank you. KP is uh, very unique because of his size, length, and ability to shoot the ball. I'm here. No, got it. That's automatic, brother. He's very hard to defend outside. He's still capable of going inside and punishing, you know, small guys. Step up, step up, line, hey. line. Lost in the shuffle of some of the unique things he can do offensively are the unique things that he can do defensively. And his ability to protect the rim, guard guys on the perimeter, I'm is really special. I'm, I'm sitting right here. I'm sitting right here. That's it. Perfect. The one thing that surprised me is like how good of his touch is for a 7-3 guy. Shooting like that over guys, like triple teams, double teams, and score like. Crazy for me. I definitely come from a basketball family. I remember uh, my oldest brother playing professionally, and for me, he was an example, an idol, you know, in my eyes. And, and those are like my first memories. You know, he was able to provide and help the family with playing basketball, and that left like a big impact on me as a kid. And so I wanted to do the exact same thing. I didn't really have a like a choice of what I wanted to do. You know, it was almost like everybody in my family played basketball and, and my dad's plan was to have sons that played basketball. So uh, I would say it was almost my destiny. As a 15 year old to move from Latvia to Spain where you don't know the culture, you don't speak the language. Of course it was a bit difficult, but um, it was important for me to live there those five years that kind of opened me up as a person and got to learn Spanish and live in a beautiful city like Sevilla. I would say that click for me when I realized that I could play in the NBA was when I was 18 years old. I played under 18 European Championship. A lot of NBA scouts there, a lot of people watching us, and I had a great tournament, and the buzz kind of started at that point. So I knew I had one more, maybe two more years in Spain, and, and that would be the next step for me. And yeah, got drafted number four by, by New York. That's clean, I like that right there. Hell yeah. I think getting traded here last season definitely gave me like a head start for this season. I wanted to come here, prove who I am, show who I am, show what kind of, not only a basketball player I am, but what kind of person I am. And now, you know, we have Brad, Kuz, healthy, everybody is on the court, and uh, we're, we're slowly building that chemistry. I think the more time we get, the, the more we'll show who, what we can, what we can do in this league. And I enjoy very much playing with those guys. Christos Porzingis starts it with a top of the key three. I played my game. I uh, got the few open looks from my teammates early on. Bradley Beal, right wing, Kuzma, out front, Porzingis, hot hand, it's there! Oh, it's there! Back and down, felt good, just kept it going at 29 and a half. Bounce pass, Porzingis, stop to Let's we'll see what Jordan Goodman can do with it. Wow, the right man at the right time, see him. Chris stops Porzingis. It's hotter than fish grease, everybody. Get that man 40. He ties his career high. Porzingis, a new career high, 41 points. That was a bright moment this season, but I believe I will possibly break that uh, record again. I think it's the best for us as a team is yet to come. You're going to try for 50. 50 is tough. 50 is tough, but why not? B, you got the beat. Help. What do you got? Crazy. Oh, It's hard for me to accept this, but I think me and Drill, we gotta, we gotta share this throw. Bring it in, bring it in. Don't jump, don't jump. 
this season. I'm gonna finish healthy, strong, finish, finish the year well. And I'm getting to a point in my career where I really, really know what's working for me. And I think you could see that as I'm moving better I'm back to you know having the touch and, and, and all the things are slowly getting into the right place. And I'm getting into an age where you know you are hitting your prime as a as a basketball player. So I'm excited for this summer and the next season.